unlike other crocodilians that have absolutely no role to play in protecting the hatchlings. As a matter of fact, baby crocodiles and alligators never get to know who their genuine father is, and they're better off not knowing. If given the chance, a large male crocodile or alligator won't hesitate to kill and eat any hatchling he finds, even the ones he fathered previously. However, male gharials are different and earn the title as the most attentive and dedicated fathers of all reptiles. Here's why. It starts with the fact that these males actually guard the babies of all females they mated with, which means that they often carry up to a hundred hatchlings or more on their backs, and sometimes on their heads, as a means to ferry them across the river and protect them from potential danger. This could be fish eagles, woolly-necked storks, or even other gharials. A crazy fact is that the babies don't even have to be theirs. They accept and protect the babies of all the other little croc families in the area. These truly loving crocodilians actually get involved in nurturing foster hatchlings from several other nests, even though they are not of their own. This is a truly unique reptile behavior. But perhaps the male gharials don't perform this act out of pure kindness and love. Instead, scientists believe they could be showing off their potential as future mating partners. There are no logical reasons as to why surrogate males would spend their energy defending the brood of a rival unless it would benefit them somehow. Scientists believe male gharials are likely apprenticing, perhaps honing their parenting skills. By pitching in, they convince choosy females of their potential as future mating partners. The fact that a potential date with a female is on the line makes the males super protective and aggressive if someone comes close to them. But no matter the drivers behind the high level of parenting, this is truly a unique behavior for reptiles. Unfortunately, the gharial is critically endangered. This large crocodile used to be common in rivers and sandbanks across South Africa, but now there are believed to be fewer than 250 adults left in the wild. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and please like and subscribe for more content.